What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson and in this episode we're going to be talking about adding like little disklet, little features on your desktop. Um, so, you know, on our Android devices or actually on iOS now too as well as uh, widgets, if you know what those are. Um, this is going to be for the Linux Mint. This is a very basic tutorial. As, as you can see, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to enter your settings. And within your settings, you're going to have disklets right here. Go ahead and tap that. And you're going to see I have a few already listed here. Uh, if you want to get more, go ahead and go to Available Disklets Online. Um, you can go to your general settings and kind of, you know, a few of those little uh, tweaks on it. If you do not find them online, or sorry, right here is something that you want. So there is availability of Google searching it, and you can add it that way. In another video, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. But I want to kind of keep it extremely basic. So once you've clicked on your Available Disklet Online, uh, you should get a little loading screen that's actually updating everything just you know with the newest versions and these little check marks mean that I already have the setup over here in my installed section so for example I will go ahead and click uh, this quote of the day for one make sure it's check marked this will go ahead and un or highlight go ahead and click install it's done and come over here and now you can find it uh, what it is is if I click on one of these and I go add to desktop you're gonna see there's a calculator and you can drag and drop it and stick it wherever you want. Now if I want to I can also configure that come over here and if I want to change it to a scientific as you can see all those new buttons just kind of popped out and I'll have to move it over a little bit if I want what degrees I want um, how many decisions you know all that type of stuff you can change uh, I'll go back to this go to general settings uh, width it snaps to 15 there you go so as you can see it manipulates a little bit off the edge right there if I change it up to 30 it changed even more so really you could come in here and configure it a little bit you know for the most part uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this there we go now it's where I want it to be and that's it when it comes to disklets now to get rid of it you're just gonna go ahead and highlight it uh, either double tap on your or with two fingers on your keyboard or use the right click on a mouse go ahead and remove from desktop there it goes quote of the day another one so I can add this and I can add a nice little quote if I want to and every day I go ahead and log in I will get a new quote which I do not mind actually having if I can move it It looks like it got, oh, there it is. So you're going to have to kind of find out where the area is to grab it on some of them. Oh, it doesn't look like it's going to allow me to go down there. But anyways, that's just kind of the basic understanding of getting these set up. Like I was saying, you can go ahead and go online and Google search it for some more if you want to. Uh, something not neat is going to be kind of like this. So as you can see, I have my notes as it's set up there. Uh, but if I go into configure it, I get quite a bit of uh, options to kind of manipulate it to what I want. So let's go ahead and come over here. Uh, if I want to go ahead and raise the new vote, auto hide button. Now if I want to go ahead and go to, let's go simple striped. A little stripe got thrown in there, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, select the theme of the staples, we'll go that. Actually we'll go, there we go. Uh, what we want the pencil to be, we'll go blue. Show applet manager. Oh, so if you want your applet manager, that'll show it down there. Uh, I don't need that since it's going to be on the desktop. Auto hide buttons if you don't want to. So as you can see, there's going to be a little one. Again, this is just you know one of many options to choose from. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of do a quick overview of how to do that because I've had people ask me how to go ahead and stick these little widgets on their desktop with Linux Mint. It kind of comes stock. Uh, if you do have any questions or comments, though, or if there's one you're, you know, you maybe found on Google and you want to go ahead and get it added, but you don't know how to, uh, leave it in the comment section below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next video. Peace.